Hi guys, Spink here. This is episode 30, 30 of uh, Let's Learn Aegean Civil War 2. So I've been rattling on here for 15 hours. Oh my. Uh, okay, um, where were we at? Last time we had done half of our movement before we ran out of time, so... I think I'll just start going through the E key and figure out what's going on here. What is this guy? Oh, here's some art, or artillery. Here's some infantry. This is in Iowa, so I believe that is going to be for the Army of the West here, or the Western Department. So we are going to take these units, take them by rail. Oh, I got this Davenport Militia. Don't want Davenport Militia. Where are these guys at? Take this Davenport garrison. I grabbed the Davenport garrison by mistake. Put them in there. Okay. This is who we want. So we've got two units of Iowa, Iowa infantry, and a battery that will be due here in a in another turn or so. We're going to take this unit by rail and have him link up in Western Command here. We need to really start getting some force here as well. Um, I'm envisioning, envisioning that when this, when these forces clear up these, uh, these uh, Confederate forces here, then, then they will make their way down here as well and become part of this army. We have an Ohio artillery battery times four. Four artillery batteries in Ohio. I think I'm going to send these guys down to the Army of the Tennessee here. We have Palmer and Stone's Brigade. Now the purpose of this unit was going to be to get some kind of um, some intel on what these um, Confederate units that we were looking at down here were, but we've already kind of taken care of most of them. I'm going to send this guy down here. We've got a detection value of four here, and we still know almost nothing about this unit. Let's see what this says for us. Does this tell us that there's a... I don't see a modifier for the hide value but presumably since we are in oh hide bonus of one so we have a detection of four on here and we're really not getting much of a much of a of a detect on these guys so they must they it is a division hmm <laughs> So we took, we, this guy's kind of in a bit of a bind. We took all the depots in this area, so he's going to have to think about popping down a bit here. Um, we took Strasbourg. We're going to take Banks off of his, uh, off of his offensive posture, put him in a defensive posture, and we are going to sit for a little bit and recover some cohesion here because uh, cause we've got some, some units that have taken a bit of a, are, are down on cohesion so let's take shirts and let's move him in here as well we'll meet up with this unit and then we'll be able to combine that and get rid of that uh, that penalty that this guy's working under Kenley's brigade where are we at we are in Maryland there's a battery fourth headquarters support this headquarters support if I recall this was supposed to go to banks back in Baltimore here We'll send him there by rail. Um, Kenley's Brigade, Tyler's Brigade. A battery, Weber's Brigade. Ninth Union Detachment. Okay, so, Ninth Union Force. We have three brigades of infantry. We're going to send these 
to McClellan as we start to reorganize our army here. Contrabands. Okay, the weather has cleared. What do we have here? We think we have a division here. I thought we had some... Yes, we do have some cavalry. I'm going to take this cavalry unit. They have 100% military control here. So let's take him just as far as here. Well, they're in garrison, so that shouldn't cause us to engage them. But we'll sit tight here and see if we can uh, get some uh, get some intel as to what that force is going to do. And in the meantime, we'll march um, we'll march uh, Milroy up there, and hopefully he's going to take 17 so it'll be not till next turn for him to get there and hopefully we'll be able to get some intel on what's going on here and if things are not looking good we'll be able to cancel that move if it looks like it's going to be more there than we can handle we do have some supply I think these guys were short artillery weren't they this has none this has two batteries of light I don't know perhaps something that we built somewhere that I gave away to somebody else was was supposed to belong to this unit. Okay, we have some Kansas Cavalry. They said, oh that's kinda cool, they got different different horses. So this is Kansas Cavalry and this is US Cavalry. This is the pre war pre war um, US Cavalry. 2nd 3rd Regiment, combining it with this regiment. I thought we brought a... Oh, we are. We are going to bring um, this leader here, Ricketts, and this Kansas. We're going to have a pretty good cavalry force here once once that gets all done. Um, mm -hmm, McClellan. Um, we have the 1st Corps, this detachment. This is the Manassas garrison, so let's call it that so that we know what that is and don't accidentally move him away. Okay. Just missed an S here. M-A-N-A-S-S-A-S. -S -S. There we go. Manassas Garrison. Manassas. Okay. We have this unit, which is going to meet up with stone. Let's put him on rail movement. What have we got? Mud in here? Yeah, we do have some mud in this region, so we're not going to be doing a lot of moving around. The Army of the Potomac. We do have the makings of a division here. We need to get a little more infantry down here. Let's go back to Washington. Second Corps coming. Foster. Let's combine those. Second He's going to be the second core. What do we got here? This pontoon unit has come good. Let's drop that up here. What else do we have? Pioneers. Um, Washington Reserve, YMCA, Defense, McDowell, Corps, Second Division. It's going to go to Stone's Command, so there'll be a core there. Okay. Um, I think that looks decent. Dix is going to go over to there. All right. Stone is just going to sit tight here, wait for uh, the remainder of his units to arrive in his corps commander. And then I believe he will be, uh, at that point, he will be, uh, he will be extra. So we will take him and put him down in, move him over to McClellan, and he'll start forming forming up this other division that, that's going to be starting to form out of this other stuff, plus whatever, plus whatever we get down here. Uh, Banks, he's going to just sit tight and recover his cohesion. There's mud anyway, so it's... Um, <laughs> we'll just sit tight here. Now one of the disadvantages about, about taking all of the units out of McClellan's stack is this training officer skill. It's up to level 3. That's kind of neat. Um, isn't going to be coming into play. 
So maybe we wanna we wanna find our units that are, that have a lot of conscripts and 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 shuttle them back into uh, into uh, McClellan here. The Union Brigade. The Union Brigade is only a regiment. Okay. Sumner. Sumner is now our core commander. Uh, something I thought of while watching the last video, the uh, the majority of these uh, buttons here, these commands, refer to the the commander of the stack. The exception to that is the uh, division commander and the plus and minus buttons, which apply to whichever whichever unit you have selected. So if we can select uh, 14th division here, and if we click this dismiss core, that's going to affect Sumner. So, something to keep in mind, uh, especially with like the promote and stuff like that. Okay, so this is a sizable force. This is going to be a good, a good strong force once, once we get that, uh, that cohesion recovered. Fremont, Fremont, what is Fremont going to do? Let's look at the control, let's look at the weather. The weather is clear. The supply is good. Shall we start moving him forward as well? Why don't we go ahead and do that? Now, when we when we take Springfield, it has a depot here. Assuming we can capture it without the uh, without the Confederates blowing it, blowing up the depot, um, we still need to get supply. From our supply sources, primarily back here, uh, St. Louis, through Rolla to here. So we'll have to see how that's going. What's the yeah? The uh, infrastructure through here is not not particularly good. This has got a railroad. That's pretty good. But through these two areas of track, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to monitor that and see that we can get supply through to Springfield before we're able to to push forward down to Fayetteville. Um, with the, uh, that said, we can, we can push forward with uh, supply wagons, but we do need to have a place to send those supply wagons back to get, uh, to get refilled so that we can shuttle them back and forth. We don't want to end up with uh, being out of supply. Okay, so Lion is moving, or Fremont is moving up. If we sacked him, it would be three national morale and six victory points, sixty victory points. Now, presumably, when you when you uh, remove a head a uh, a uh, an army commander, it affects their seniority significantly, so that they're not the immediately guy you're supposed to stick right back in there. That's a guess. This militia unit, he still is totally breached, so he's probably gonna probably going to take this guy out this turn and we really don't have any way to get at him here's a flatboat squadron they're probably bringing something else over here we probably should be getting some some bit of a force over here to, to deal with this situation maybe yeah, I'm not sure we'll think about it next this is this division oh that's what was stones division you'll just sit here McClellan Sumner, this guy, okay, Buell, 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 we still have, we're waiting for some artillery, uh, we could use some infantry, actually, I wonder, you know, this artillery, why don't, and this is probably actually the case. Let's bring this artillery to Clarksburg, right here, instead. And then Melroy will will hold him back a turn so that he can. Uh, get those artillery because these guys are, are very artillery poor here so we get the artillery here before we march on 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 Charleston I think that I think that would be a better idea okay Milroy 
Hmm. Our supply situation is still not great here. What's our? Why are we not getting supply moved through to here? We're getting it. We're getting it built up in Louisville quite quite handily here. But we're just, it's not getting down to here. Clear weather and railroad. Hmm. We'll just let it, we'll give it one more turn and see what's going on with that. This is producing 723 supply, although we can just see that from the pop up uh, that plus 23. Don't really need to go digging for it. And they use we're using 70 a per turn. Maybe that's part of it. We're just pulling so much force into here so fast that it's we're sucking it all up. That that's possibly what's going on. We got something in here. The capital is Lexington. We have this arsenal producing. So, um, oh, can't pull my microphone away. That would be less than optimal. Um, I think we need to hold off just a little bit. We need to get some supply wagons built here. Once we get some supply wagons built, we can we can we can keep uh, Buell supplied as he moves down through here and then shuttle the wagons back and forth along this railroad and that'll keep him supplied. So that's what we'll need to do. That's what we'll need to do. And I think we had planned on doing that last last turn, but we ran out of money. So we're gonna assault here. He's doing well enough on on uh on uh supply. He is gonna have to uh He's only got he's got three turns of supply, so hopefully we can get something opened up in the in the interim. A cavalry brigade down here. Now what this guy was doing was building up the military control here, so that we can uh, optimize our our supply coming through here. So I think I'll I think I'll leave him here to bring up the the uh, military control. Um, Kearney's, Kearney's division here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why don't we move this unit down here to Columbus? Six days, just march him. Oh, his supply is not awesome. Why is his supply low? Oh, because he moved back from there. So the supply is real good here. Not particularly good down here. We have we had 17 received, and that came from Paducah. This received 14 from somewhere. We definitely need to get our supply situation resolved. I should have been uh, planning ahead on that during those winter months. Um, to get to get some supply wagons in here so that when the weather cleared these guys can do something and so now the weather's cleared and they're sitting there waiting for supply so that is uh, that's poor Lion Butler Butler's just gonna sit here with his army of the James comprising a single individual which for Ben Butler is fitting for he is awesome um, Lou Wallace. Uh, again, we're just gonna sit and wait for wait for the supply. Grant again as well. Okay, so what's the weather doing here? Is it still mud? It's still mud, but can we get down here? Albuquerque. We're filling up enough. Let's let's send him down here. Should we run into something? Maybe we can uh, save Valencia. We certainly can take this guy out. I think that's one of those ranger units that we can build. Um, let's go ahead and enable division command for this guy. We've messed around with doing this before. So, at least get rid of that, uh, some of that penalty. I think that improves our power. Alright, 
Um, Bartlett's brigade. We're waiting for uh, Hunter to come down, to come back. He's got one day, so we'll come down here and then we'll rejoin these guys and kind of hunker down until we can get some more force down here, I think, is, is what I'm going to do. Carney again, Butler again, and we've been through everybody. Okay, let's go. I don't remember taking a look over here. What's going on here? Um, this force has lost half of its cohesion right now. 20 days more going through the mud. But I think we're just going to have to do it. So we'll just leave them. We'll leave them doing what they're doing here. Okay, so now let's go through and, and check out our, our fleets. We've got three squadrons here with some transports. Uh, down here, this force should hopefully do better against the, the raiders here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this unit is full up now. Let's bring them back out. Let's pop them over there. We've had good hunting over there. This is our southern or our gulf blockade. We look to be in pretty good shape. Uh, okay, now our our um, our ammo has gone down a little bit. Our usage is 26 per, per battle, so we could go two turns, two more battles before we've got to replenish supply. And we cannot replenish supply of ammunition from transports. We actually have to return to port for that. Um, <laughs> this force, I still don't know what to do with them. We'll, 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 uh, actually, let's bring him back down to, what's the weather? Weather was fair. Let's bring this force back to Annapolis, and that's the that's where we um, that's where we uh, de uh, deployed our last invasion force because it's very close to Washington. So when we do come up with a force, we'll be able to very easily stick them up there. Um, okay, here's that squadron has finally got up to uh, to full strength, and I'm going to take this and move it to the Atlantic blockade. Next, um, here is our... and again, we're, we're not... we're not um, showing our blockade markers anymore. <laughs> I want to take Norfolk. Maybe that'll be our next invasion. We'll, we'll take a division, maybe more than a division, and we'll attack Norfolk. Maybe maybe take Suffolk and then move overland to Norfolk. Well, we're going to be across the river that way, or an amphibious invasion. So, either way, Porter. Okay, now this is what we wanted to do here. In Columbus, we are going to build a depot. And I think we will leave these transports here. And put this force back in the river. Um, maybe up here. We are going to run the guns there. I don't think there's really anything significant there. We have a, an Island Number 10 Garrison and an Arizona Spy Company. Now that Island Number 10 Garrison could include guns. It certainly could. But that's what we'll do. This force here that's remaining, um, why don't we take Foot and leave him with this other fleet, with those transports. Just because. And these are in port, and they are going to be building um, building a depot. And Porter's fleet is not. Okay. Building a depot. And then we'll be able to, well, now that I think about it, this might not be the best place to build that depot because of island number 10, and we're running, we'll be running the damn guns. 
Psy. Okay. Um, let's re rethink that. Let's get these guys back in the river, or back in this confluent here. And then let's take the two transports and maybe two gunboats and and foot rather than porter and put them into Paducah. So we'll build it in Paducah instead because I think this uh, this uh, this fort here would probably interdict our our supply, which is maybe why we're not getting as much supply coming through here as I think we should. So we'll build our depot here in Duca, which is which is clear of any uh, of any fort activity. I think that is wiser. Okay, we got you, we got you, we got you, and I think that's it. Um, three minutes remaining. We can we can look at doing some production because. We had it pretty much figured out what we wanted to do, which was got a lot of elite infantry needs some replacements, but we do have some in there. We are missing replacements there, but I ran myself into trouble last time by building, by doing those replacements before I had been doing my production. So we are going to look s specifically at. Um, supply and I think we were doing fairly decent over there this guy has has one I think he's decent but specifically for for this force here we can't build it here because of some particular reason but we can build them here let's build one quite expensive two three there Let's come over here and build. Do we have any that actually are here? Before I, I check, how about the Army of the West here? We didn't, we didn't take care. Yeah, we've already got two here. We've already got two here. I, I totally missed doing those. Well, let's build two more here, and then back in St. Louis, we'll build two more here. And back in the east, let's build one, two more there. I'm going to build one more here in, in New Albany because we are going to be needing to use some of these to make um, to make depots eventually. Eventually, we are. Um, I think we're going to call that good as far as our builds go. Pontoons, pontoons. What is this going to do? This is going to... We have pioneers here, which will give a siege bonus to all elements of the stack. We have pontoon bridges, which gives us a stack. So this would be a stack. So these would be support units that we would want to put with an army or a core. Why don't we build those for Buell's army and maybe one of the uh, too expensive oh they're not too expensive we just can't build them here. We can build in Columbus that and now we're out of military supplies back to all. We could build some cheap infantry. Let's see, we can build, let's build a look at just infantry here. That's the most expensive infantry we can build. This one right here in Indiana. Hey, we're right here. There was some place I wanted to build some militia, and I don't recall where that was. Um, that's good. Okay, there's our builds. Um, we've used all our war supplies. Let's go back to whoops. Let's go back to here. <laughs> let's see if I can build these. Take war supplies. So we can't build any of those because of war supplies. Okay. Um, 
what can we do here? Um, somewhere I wanted, to, oh, out in Missouri, is there anything we can do to improve our supply line here? Possibly put a clearing here. Now these do have a railroad, so I don't know if that necessarily is going to matter so much. But I think I'm going to give it a shot and then maybe again out west. We can open a trail here and that will build a track. This has a road, that has a road, and they're connected. So there's really no point in building a track here. Although it says no road, that has a road, that has a road. Open trail. Mm -hmm. Defensive works. I can't think of anybody that we're going to be on defensive for a significant amount of time that that would matter. With the exception, let's pop down here, actually, now that I think about it. Can we put defensive works? Oh, we can up here. We've got to wait for this guy to get down here, and then we can put that defensive works on there. Because he's going to sit tight for a while. We're going to want this built up quite a bit quite a bit so that we can uh, have a good base to, to build up our force from. And I think that looks good. Uh, we are past time, but I am going to go ahead and run the turn so that I don't have time to watch and make sure that I didn't forget to do something. Okay. Oh, I forgot to go back and look at Halleck and take care of his stuff. Doggone it. Nah. I know he's got enough force there to build another division. But I wanted to get this uh, turn resolved in this same episode, so... Oh, uh, well, it is what it is. Um, what do we have here? Um, Beauregard and Johnston are completely... are completely unknown to us right now. We don't know where they're at. Unless they're... I was, pointing at the screen that'll help unless they're farther down south down here but currently we don't have any idea where they're at we still got a little bit of snow in the mountains here that's kind of neat how the how that uh, works out the weather weather algorithms are are sophisticated enough to do that <sighs> have a big gulp of tea in your ear there. That's that's manners. Okay, so here we go. Uh, something is railroaded to here or from here. Probably from here because it, it went rather, it just immediately popped up. Oh, see we're running those forts again, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing we did not um, decide to put our depot there. Oh, 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 oh. The CSS Virginia came out. We inflicted four hits on it, and they inflicted two hits on us. 348 cohesion. So, um, presumably, that represents, they didn't do a great deal of damage to us, but they, they dispersed us all to hell. So, so that's neat. That's really cool. We did t we did do four t four damage on him though. Wow, the Hartford, seventy two of thirty three cohesion. So knocked these guys down completely to nothing. Hopefully our uh, our force has the monitor in it. Um, hopefully that will. Um, hopefully that will. Uh, in, will attack him as well, and we'll be able to, to to see the monitor fight the fight the Virginia there. Army of the Potomac in Albemarle. Probably heading up to Culpeper, maybe? Plymouth Squadron has arrived. Chesapeake Squadron. They're heading out somewhere. Oh, so these guys have broken out. Probably on, on their way to... On their way to the... Uh, to the blockade boxes. So either raiders or runners headed there. Oh, flatboat squadron, get him! We need another flatboat. 
And there goes Banks, Banks, Lion, the other, the other Nathaniel. Wiped these guys out. Some cavalry and some militia. And we took 1,400 prisoners and captured three war supplies. Nice, nice. And that is a strategic town. Oh, it probably doesn't grab him there. Which way is he going? Is he going north? No. Where is he going? Um, that's a little odd. There's Sterling Price. Um, that's Forest. Oh, here's a here's a substantial force now here in Fort Donaldson. Right here, 670. So that's about as strong as oh oh they finally <laughs> forest came in and took out that the remainder of that yeah so they captured that force tactical skill demonstrated what is he he's oh my gosh a 772 wow the cavalry that's good move up here move up there so I can there's Earl Van Dorn I believe yeah, see, if I had got my uh, my supply situation straightened out sooner, we could have got some, uh, maybe done some advancing before the Confederates were able to uh, consolidate their forces there. Oh, there's a sizable force here now, 2,200 at Newmarket. Yeah, if you could sink these guys, that'd be swell. No? Okay. Where is this guy going? He's headed south, past us here. Army of the Shenandoah. So they've got both of their main armies down there, I think. Come on, sink them. Seventeenth Division has arrived in Baldwin. Oh. Okay. So we're way over time. So we are going to put a pause in right here and we'll start up the next episode looking at the results of the turn. See you next time.